What up, y'all? It's your girl Stephanie today. I got my Japan haul for you. I got some stuff. We got clothes, bags, beauty. We got some thrifted items, home stuff. Yeah, we gotta get started. If you wanna see more hauls like these in the future, which I do have some coming up, please make sure to subscribe. It would really help me out. You could join the family, the sisterhood. Oh my God, I just came up with that. Should I call it that? That sounds pretty tight actually. Okay, we're gonna think about that. Let's just talk about some clothes right now. I got a huge pile here. Let's sort through it. First of all, I got this big old fuzzy thing from Adidas. I know we got Adidas here in the States, but I saw this in Japan and I just had to have it. It's just super squishy and fluffy. I wore it on the plane on the way home. Man, I'm just really into these fabrics. Actually, this jacket is another thing that I got. It's uh, this kind of denim jacket right here with super fuzzy sleeves. So definitely a material that Japan was into because we saw so much of this super, super fluffy material, really comfortable. Next up, I got this really beautiful black jacket, I guess you call it. It's like a little cardigan with Asian detailing up in here. This one is from a store called Bank, I believe, by a brand called Made in Heaven. Uh, yeah, they had a few pe these pieces. They even had a, like a blush pink with this. So it was a hard decision, but I knew that I would wear this one a lot more. We got a couple more jackets here. Here is this really cool kind of worker style. I forget what the style is. I think it's like a lot of skate brands have jackets like this because they're kind of like windbreakery material. Nice collar jacket with these embroidered blue flowers. This is a really cool just, what's in here? Oh, so what? Also, shout out to Japan. Every restaurant had these like little wet wipes. So when you get to the table, you can just wipe your hands down and you feel clean. <laughs> So I obviously wore this out when I was in Japan and I pocketed one of them. <laughs> I was on the hunt for a like Japan starter jacket the whole time I was there. I saw a few, but they looked pretty cheap. It was not necessarily one that I would want to wear. And then I saw this and I know it just doesn't make any sense I got this. The front, well actually it does. This, the front has two rabbits, which is tight because my mom is here, the rabbit. So anytime I see things with rabbits, snakes, tigers, horses, that's my, my mom, my dad, my sister, and me, I go crazy for it. So I saw the rabbits. I just really, really like this jacket. And I looked at the back, it says California. <laughs> I know, it doesn't make any sense I would get this here, but it's a really high quality jacket. It has these really beautiful, uh, rope detailing down the sides. This jacket's really cool. It's from a brand called X-Girl and it's actually reversible. So you can reverse it and have the X-Girl logo uh, and a plain back. But to be honest, I don't think I would ever do that. This jacket's tight and I'll wear it as is. Let me show you some things that I thrifted. I was trying to find some Japanese shirts. Um, it's very difficult. Like when I was in Korea, I was trying to find shirts with Korean writing on it, impossible. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, the, maybe there's no vintage shirts that have Japanese or Korean or anything on it. Very difficult, but I did find this Beavis and Butthead shirt that says, I am the great Cornholio. So, there's that. The second uh, thing that I have to show you here is this beautiful, I'm not gonna call it a kimono. It's just more like a robe. Um, I got at a vintage shop and there are no sleeves. I don't know if it was meant to have no sleeves or if it was just cut off. It kind of like comes down like this, but uh, yeah, it's super long, super comfortable. I love wearing these at home, just feel real fancy and luxurious. So I'll wear these uh, when I'm getting out of the shower, just getting ready to go out and it makes me feel good. So definitely I'm going to be using this a lot. I have to go get this dry clean though, I believe, cause yeah, it's not something that I wanna throw into the washer and I'm not about to just let it touch my naked skin <laughs> unwashed. So gotta treat this one. Oh my God, there is a lot of stuff flying around right now. Just like, I don't know what it is. There's just, a, uh, my nose is going crazy right now. Okay. We got a couple things that I got at the same area I thrifted and they're just vintage items. And the first one is this cute little bag. 
check this out. I have no, what it, can somebody please tell me what it says? Please, because I have no idea. But I just thought it was so adorable. And there was a ton of these around. Again, I'm gonna have to go and wash this because it was bun it was next to a bunch of like rusty stuff. Oh, my nose is going crazy. Sorry, y'all. At the same shop, I got this handkerchief. How freaking beautiful is this? Depicting some sort of scene with a boat and some ladies and like a missionary or something. Oh my God. Um, I don't know if you heard that just now, but they are filming an action movie behind my building. I believe, I think the movie is gonna be called Bright or something. They actually built a gas station in an empty lot that was behind my building and it is a believable gas station. They were building it. I was like, oh my God, yeah. They're, they're building a gas station there, yay! Like, cause it said like beer and snacks. I was like, oh, I just, I have to go down my like back stairs now and I can go get some drinks and some snacks, like no problem. And then I found out it was just for the set of the movie and they've been filming every night for like a good week and they're filming like crazy fight scenes. So if you, you can see it from my roof actually, it's like this crazy machine that makes uh, like a gun sound, but it's going till 3 a.m. every night. Pretty nuts. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> Final thing from that shop is this little guy. A can opener talking about beers and it has Japanese writing on it once again. If anyone would be able to translate for me, that'd be awesome. But I thought it'd be, I don't have anything on like my keychains or anything. So I thought this was super, super cute and a nice little memento of my time in Tokyo. We have two handbags. Uh, excluding the thrifted one. I'm not really know if I'd call that a handbag. But this one was definitely a purchase. It was a big girl purchase. Like not that big girl. Okay, I'll show you. It's, wow, completely washed out. It's a C by Chloe. It's a C by Chloe bag. It's this one right here. Hey, look at that. I don't know if I own any designer bags at all. Yeah, I don't think I do. So this is my first designer bag purchase. Uh, it's C by Chloe though, so not as pricey as original Chloe. It's like buying, I guess, like Mark by Mark Jacobs, um, but C by Chloe. And it's this really cute little teeny bag with a clasp there, these little tassel -y guys. And what's really fun about this is the strap is long, obviously, and you can, thread it into the back and it can become a fanny pack. <laughs> I don't know if you know, I have that um, zipper backpack that I use and I literally use that. That's like my only handbag I use. Um, yeah, I really need to expand more. So this is my venture into expanding into other bags because bringing that backpack to fancy occasions is not a good look. <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty hyped about this actually. <laughs> but the next bag I'm gonna show you is so much better. It's like even better. A Mickey Mouse pouch. I got this at Disneyland, or sorry, Disney Sea in Tokyo. And we just saw every everyone gets one of these. And they just wear it around here. I would like shorten this, but they wear it like this. And you put your ticket in there. And then if you have like a fast pass, you put it in there. Yeah, I have a couple things in there. And I've just put like my money in here to make things easy when I wanted to purchase things. But yeah, I've like I feel like everyone who enters the park gets one of these. And like, I only saw a couple of the people who had the hamburger one. And I thought this one was the best one for sure. Um, I just thought it was so cute. Yeah, everyone who goes to Disney Sea, they all match. All wear the same outfits, wear, get the same ears, and get the same pouch. So adorable. But yeah, I'm really excited to wear this to Disneyland here because it's just that cute. All right, I'm gonna go through a couple like home items first and then get into beauty because I I only have a couple things I wanna show you. First of all, let me show you this. I bought this beautiful Nika coffee grain whiskey. Holy moly, this is my favorite whiskey I've ever had touch my lips. And I've had Pappy Van Winkle, that real expensive stuff. Yeah, this was, was delicious because we drank it all. I just saved this like, for the sake of this video. I think we drank this. I had, a, I had some friends over and I was like, everyone gets a taste. 
And then some more friends came over and I was like, everyone gets a taste. And then the next day more people came over and then it was just like, I turned around and it was gone. So, uh, just look at this packaging though. Can you like, Japanese people know what's up. It is in like satin pink bed with, I just love the tone, the salmon pink with the brown. Man, this stuff is not only beautiful, but super tasty. If you're looking into venturing into some Japanese whiskeys, I would highly recommend this. Also, Hibiki is delicious. I got like the master select from that one uh, like a couple months ago. That one just, we really went through that one as well. I love trying like different whiskeys and different alcohols from different places. Like when I was in Iceland, I tried a few Alkovi. I'm just, I enjoy a good cocktail and with whiskey, I just enjoy it straight up or with some ice. So yeah, love you. If you saw my fourth vlog, fourth Japan vlog, I went into that uh, ceramic store and I got these two little chopstick holders. So they're supposed to be herons. I think they're herons, yeah. Um, and you just place the chopsticks right here on the span of their wings. And speaking of chopsticks, I purchased this set. <laughs> I refrain from using these chopsticks too to film this video, so I'm excited now because now I can actually use them. With beautiful Japanese scenery, and I really like chopsticks that have this kind of, these grooves so that you can really pick up things easily. I feel like that's something that I miss with cheap chopsticks. If you're chopstick shopping, definitely look out for these kind of grooves or something that would, you know, help you pick up the food easier. This was five bucks, I could not believe it. I'm really excited to use these. And then I have two more. I only brought out one of each, um, but I bought a set of these little sauce cups. This really kind of volcanic red that's very textured. I like that it's textured because when you're like mixing wasabi and soy sauce, you kind of get that with the chopsticks and it mixes in really nicely. I just, I love this thing. And then I got a set of these bowls right here. Very classic Japanese blue and porcelain. And if you look closely at the sides, there's indentations and this part kind of sticks out too. It's just beautifully made and I'm so happy that they were A-OK -okay in transport. I took a visit to Lush while I was in, at Shibuya, Shibuya Lush. I got this little soap here, so beautiful. It's like a little sunflower. It's just called sunflower soap. It just smells good. And then I just got one other thing, which is a bath bomb. And I don't even remember what this bath bomb looks like now. Oh yeah, okay. This kind of speckly pink bath bomb with crystal. I believe there's like salt crystals. It really looks like salt crystals up front. I think this is the Sakura, Sakura bath bomb, I believe. Those are the two things I got from Lush in Japan. Again, everyone was so helpful and so nice over there. I got some super fun masks. Oh my God. <laughs> Check out these kiss face masks. These are freaking hilarious. Then I got this Dragon Ball Z one. This is probably the creepiest one for sure, I would say, yeah. Um, I got this animal one, which is a panda and a tiger. Pretty fun, pretty fun. I think I've seen these ones actually. And then this one's really cool, the Kyo Genki face pack. Gosh, I hope I am saying that correctly. I really hope that the mask actually has this like little beard part, because that'd be tight. Kabuki face pack. Uh, wow, I really went in. These are awesome. I honestly, I purchased them. I haven't tried it yet. You know what? I will try this uh, and show you in video. I'll take off my makeup and stuff after this and I'll throw one on. I believe, you know, it just seems like they're all supposed to be for moisture. And I trust the Japanese, okay? I trust the Japanese when it comes to face masks because they know what the hell they're talking about in terms of skincare. And I'm just, I just followed blindly and bought all these, so. Super excited to use them. <laughs> Might've gone overboard. Okay, final part. Some things from some subscribers. If you watched the very last part of part four of my vlogs again, you saw me use this on the plane. 
which is a little heated iPad with Yuzu in it. So yeah, it's kind of like when you go snowboarding or go in the snow and you get those like heat packs that you put in your pockets, but obviously not as strong and you place them on your eyes. And I actually put it on my eyes for quite some time and it was very, very relaxing. I've never seen anything like these before ever. So thank you so much to the person who gave these to me. I actually use them on the plane. <laughs> this next one's very funny. So another subscriber, thank you so much for giving this to me. It's this little succulent thing because I think you knew that I just love succulents and plants and stuff. It's so freaking sweet. I thought that these were real succulents and then I later on when I came home discovered that they're fake. But I was like, okay, you know what? Like I'm leaving Japan today. I want to keep this. I'm smuggling plants into the United States. Like let's see what happens. And I was like kind of nervous actually. But when I was waiting for my luggage back in LA because I was like, what if I got stopped? Like, what if like, you know, agriculture and some whatever like stopped me because I brought plants. Um, but <laughs> yeah, they're fake. So I <laughs> had nothing to worry about. Thank you so much to the person who gave this to me. Super sweet. I'm going to put it in my kitchen. Here we have three packs of little bath stuff from another subscriber. This packaging is so, so freaking cute. I think this one in particular is lemon and it looks like it's for when you're like, maybe have cramps or leg pains, you know, muscle pains. This one is, I believe, kind of maybe like cherry blossom or sakura. Um, yeah, so cute little thing, just chilling out. And this one is obviously honey. Mmm. You know what? I kind of want to take a bath after this, so maybe I will dive into one of these. Thank you so much. I got this really beautiful choker from another subscriber. Really pretty. It's kind of this Asian print. And she actually gave one to my sister as well, so that was super sweet. Thank you so much. I will be wearing this shortly. I actually could have worn this with this outfit. Dang it, sorry. Oh, I actually have two more of these packets for the bath. This one, it says onsen on it, and this, he's like, stiff neck? <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, yeah, just dissolve it in some water. Oh, the fragrance is the scent of a beautiful clear sky in Japan. Oh my God, it smells really like, just super fresh and oh, it smells so good. That is the scent of a beautiful clear sky in Japan. Here is a Casa, Casa Lift plate and I have some instructions from Ayumi, I hope. It's right in the corner there. The letter says, this is a letter to help explain how to use my present. You can use this when you massage your whole body. You have to put on cream at first and massage it with this gently. If there is something bad like cellulite, it could be painful. Ugh. And this is good for a swollen body. Thank you so much. Uh, I've actually totally seen these before and I've wanted to try it. So I'm gonna try and like maybe watch some YouTube videos or something and figure out how to use this one. Thank you so much, Ayumi. All right, that was my Japan haul. I know I went on and on and I got distracted, so it's gonna be a long one, but I hope you enjoyed it because that was the last of my Japan videos we did five vlogs and this six videos. Actually, no, that is such a lie. I bought Japanese Kit Kats and Japanese snacks. I didn't show in this video, obviously, because I want to do more Japan stuff. Whatever, I'm not gonna apologize for having like eight Japan videos total because I love Japan. I had the best time ever. And if you want to see it, and if you enjoyed all my Japan videos, please subscribe. It would let me know. I should keep going and it would really help me out. Uh, I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.